Hello, welcome back to A Swift Look, a Taylor Swift show. I'm Zoe Jewell. Let's get into today's show. Before we get into the show, I just want to say a quick thank you to every single person who has subscribed to our channel. We are so grateful and so appreciative. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and do so. We would be very, very grateful. Okay, let's get into it. First thing is first, did Travis Kelsey just hint at a Taylor Swift engagement slash child, having a child? Kind of, maybe, I don't know. So whenever Travis's podcast with his brother, Jason Kelsey comes out on Wednesdays, New Heights, I'm sure we all know it. There's always stuff that comes up, little hints, little mentions of things that just make us Taylor Swift fans and really Travis and Taylor fans raise our eyebrows and think, did he mean something when he said this? Or is there more to this than what he's alluding? Etc. So here's what went down in case you missed it. Travis and Jason were talking about the seven foot tall French NBA player, Victor Wembenyama, who is a rookie this year. He's huge. I mean, again, he's seven feet tall. Um, he's kind of taken the NBA by storm. And Travis basically said that he felt like Victor was made in a lab in France <laughs> because of how tall he is and also how good he is. Um, and then he said, lab grown diamonds, that's a lab grown effing NBA player. Can't wait till I effing make one. Make one what? A child or a lab grown diamond? <laughs> and then Jason quickly, being the older brother he is, being the smart, intelligent older brother that he is, quickly interjected and said, quote, don't do this. Do, do not give any of those other conspiracy theorists anything else to latch onto, please. And yet here we are, not that we're conspiracy theorists, but here we are talking about this quote. It's interesting. Obviously he could just be, I don't know, talking off the cuff, not really mean anything about it. But um, it is it is a curious quote to make. Again, was he talking about the lab grown diamond? Was he talking about having a child? Both. Um, we'll have to see. Obviously, I think we've said this before on this show, like we, I, I feel, I believe that Travis and Taylor are heading down the path towards engagement. Now, whether that comes next week, next month, next year, five years from now, who's to say, we don't know. Um, but I definitely feel like the stars are aligning for it to happen. And maybe that's just my naive brain saying that, but... I do believe it in some small way. So anyway, I'd be curious to know what you guys thought of the quote. Do you think he was being serious? Do you think he was just joking? Is there some truth to it? Let me know. Um, okay, the next thing that came out from the podcast was Travis revealing that he is a fan of the hit Netflix reality show, Love is Blind. I actually never watched the show, which I think is crazy because everybody has seemed, I mean, I feel like people at least watch the first couple seasons, but even still people are obsessed with it. I've literally never watched one second of the show, which is kind of crazy. Um, but Travis was talking about it and told Jason that he needs to watch the show himself. He actually said, quote, it's the worst trash ever. It's worse than Catching Kelsey, <laughs> which is the reality dating show that Travis hosted or not hosted was on, was the star of. Um, but then he also said, quote, but it is so effing good. Um, and then he went on to mock Chelsea, who if you've watched the season so far, um, or you know, you've just like seen it on social media, you know that Chelsea is kind of one of the more talked about people on the show. She's the one who compared herself to looking like Megan Fox. Um, and then Travis went on to mock Chelsea and kind of the stuff that she says on the show. He actually did a very good impression. And Chelsea like responded and was like so embarrassed. She's like, I cannot believe that Travis Kelsey knows who I am from the show. But while, okay, it's it's funny, it's cool that Travis watches this show. What most people were talking about was, does this mean that Taylor Swift watches Love is Blind? Because the truth is, yes, is there a world in which Travis has chosen to watch this show by himself? Sure. But the reality is he's been with Taylor Swift for like the last couple of weeks. They've been together. Um, and he recorded this podcast fairly recently. So it only, and we talked about how, you know, they're, having some downtime, catching up on shows, movies, whatnot. I 100% believe that Taylor Swift is a Love is Blind fan and is watching it. And I know that doesn't seem that, it shouldn't seem that crazy. Like we're all human beings. We all like what we like. We all watch TV. 
whatever. But there is something kind of weird about, or it's hard to wrap your head around the fact that like a major, major, major celebrity is watching a reality show with these people who like were not famous one day and now all of a sudden they're like known for this TV show. I don't know if it's just me that finds it to be interesting. Like I always find it funny when I find out A-list stars watch The Bachelor. Because to me, The Bachelor is just like a show for us peasants, you know, who sit at home on our couch after a nine to five job. But it turns out it doesn't matter who you are. You can't, you're still going to be affected. You're still going to want to watch reality TV because it comes for all of us, honestly, at the end of the day. So anyway, I don't think Taylor will ever talk about Love is Blind, but I I would like to, I would like her to talk about it. I, I'd like to know her thoughts on the show. Um, And then finally, last little piece of news, which is more Travis news than Taylor, but kind of interesting. So apparently Travis Kelsey is in talks to host the rebooted TV show, Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader for Amazon Prime? And nothing has been confirmed. We don't have any, you know, official confirmation of of this happening, but articles came out um, over the past week that this was definitely in the works. Now, there were a lot of people who were like, is he smarter than a fifth grader? Which, you know, Travis has always been open about the fact that he's was never like the smartest kid in school. I don't think he's, I I think he admits he's like not the most well-read or he's not the book smart type of guy. But Travis is a very smart guy. If you know anything about football or watch him talk about football, he's got a high football IQ, which I think you can't be dumb and play football at at a high level. You just can't. But I'm really interested about this because I think, well, Travis is very naturally charismatic. He's got a great stage presence. He's good kind of on his feet. Like he's just, if you've watched him host SNL, he's really good in that kind of environment. And I also think with that show in particular, you have the mix of like the adults and the kids. And I think Travis would do a really great job, like kind of connecting with the kids and the adults. He'd be really funny. I think he would do a great job. Like I think this is a smart move for him, especially as he's like transitioning towards the next stage of his career and his life. Um, I think these types of shows and hosting types of shows is a, is a good thing for him. And it kind of, it's like a stepping stone. It's probably not the ultimate thing he wants to achieve in his career. Cause I'm assuming he wants to be a movie star, which he can do that too, but it's like a nice way to kind of dip your toe in the entertainment world, get your feet wet in terms of hosting. Um, and then kind of go from there. You know, wouldn't be shocked if someday Travis pulls like a Michael Strahan and he's a host on like GMA or the Today Show. Like, wouldn't shock me. Um, So yeah, that's it for today's show. Again, let me know in the comments all your thoughts, your feelings. Um, We're getting into, we're heading into, we're less than one month away from the Torture Poets Department release. So we are going to have so much content for you guys over the next month and beyond breaking down everything you need to know about the album, about the tour coming back, all the things. So again, make sure to subscribe to the channel, follow us on social media, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.